Bye bye. Hey guys, welcome back to No Man's Sky. This is Survival Bomb, and we are picking up in the No Man's Sky Outlaws gameplay series, and uh, this is episode number two. Um, I did scan a few things off camera because that's kind of boring, so I don't usually show that. But uh, I scanned some of the uh, some of the animals. Oop, missed one, and uh, mined up a little bit of uh, cobalt and uh, salt, which was a secondary element in the caves. Uh, so I've got a few things I can sell. I'm up to about 60,000 right now, but it is time to go to the space station for the very first time. And you guys know the first time we go in the space station, they play an awesome song. So uh, I'll probably be a little bit quiet during that time just so we can uh, hear the music, but uh, we're gonna go do the space station and then continue on the quest line to become the No Man's Sky Outlaw. All right, coming in the space station for the first time. Make sure you find the right hole and get on in there. Right, first time in the space station. Now uh, we are here to investigate the mysterious signal and ask aliens about it. Now I mentioned this at the end of the last video. First time in a space station, the first three people you talk to are never going to talk to you again. So I like to pick somebody that I don't care about, like a geck, you sir, with the cub hubcap on your head. Um, let me uh, ask you some questions so that you don't talk to me anymore. So we're going to ask him about 16. The alien squeals as I approach. They seem excited to see me, though I cannot understand their babbling tongue. Perhaps they would recognize the signal mentioned by the base computer. So let's ask about 16. A look of surprise crosses the life form's face, and they release a strange smelling gas. This appears to signify our conversation is over. All right, you heard it here, folks. When you're ready for a conversation to end, just release a strange smelling gas. That'll do it every time. All right, you, sir. Uh-huh. Looks at me expectingly. They are clear, clearly waiting for something. Perhaps they know the one who came before me. Ask about other travelers. Startled by my question, the life form emits a dramatic squeak. Though I do not recognize their words, they sh the shake of their head is unmistakable. All right. What about you? Despite their size, the alien does not seem aggressive. But when I blink, I see the same red light that startled me at the distress beacon. Repeat 16. We are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left you. The alien speaks the words, the words are not their own. A string of code is echoed back to me through the red glare, logged directly to my exosuit. And look at the red eyes. I don't know if that was just coincidence or what. That's pretty cool, though. The crimson light fades away, and I see the life form glaring at me. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have witnessed it. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer would be able to make something of this code. All right, let's leave. Your eyes still red, dude? Yeah, a little bit. Stop looking at me. It's weirding me out. All right, so now uh, if you're following the quest line, uh, basically you go back to your base computer, but uh, you can do that whenever you feel like it. So we're going to come up here and do a few things first, like sell some stuff and see what they sell here in the Galactic Trade Terminal. So let's see. Um, we're definitely going to need some life support gel and batteries. I haven't bought those yet. Um, okay, they sell chlorine and salt here. Nice. Uh, the secondary element in the uh, cobalt uh, stalactites, stalagmites in my system is, or in, on my planet, I should say, is uh, salt. So that's pretty cool. All right, they got oxygen. Let's go ahead and switch to the ship. And we're going to sell, see, this is a much better demand. It's still negative, but that was like negative 20 on the planet. So let's go ahead and sell that. We'll sell that. We'll sell this salt as well. And now we're up over uh, 192,000. I don't need Mordite. Uh, let's see. Anything else I want to get rid of? Um, now, sometimes you can sell the salvage data. You can see it's worth about 50,000 a pop, so that's pretty good. You can run around and make a million bucks pretty easy just by running around and uh, scooping this stuff up. But uh, we're going to make some more money in other ways as we go. And I'm going to need this when we get to the anomaly pretty soon anyway. So I'm going to hang on to that. All right. Let's go ahead and buy... I always buy the oxygen. I like to have lots of oxygen. Uh, I also am going to buy the ion batteries. 
And I am going to buy the life support gel. And now I pretty much don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, if I see myself running low, I'll just buy some more later. But that'll last me a good long while. Now we are going to need five microprocessors for the quest line. Now in the expedition, they dropped it to three. I'm wondering if that's for everything. We'll find out. It's always been five. But in the expedition, uh, it was three. And I'm thinking they just cut it in half to make it easier because it was the expedition. But we'll find out pretty soon. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I think that's good. Now, um, in a Viking system, you can go into these back rooms and you can pick up some additional nanites over here for this room. And then some of them will have this. Not all of them, but uh, check your stonks and uh, make a few extra bucks. There we go. Bob is now a trader. 70 nanites, a couple extra units. And uh, always search the back room bush because uh, you can pick up some... Uh, can pick up some carbon there as well check around on the tables to see if anybody left anything like this cube there we go a couple more nanites see now these bushes out in the front uh they're not going to give you carbon but the back room bush always where you want to go all right now over here exosuit upgrade uh we want to increase the size of our backpack and i am going to put this in technology first and let's see sir what do you sell please sell a movement module because I like to go fast. Uh, no, you suck. I pretty much stick to the S-Class ones. Uh, just, just because. Uh, this guy's got some nanites. So this guy uh, sells upgrades for Exocraft, which we don't have yet. This guy sells upgrades for Ship, which we don't really need yet. And uh, this guy sells for the multi-tool. And also, we can check and see what the weapons is. Okay, so this is an A-Class case, so that's nice. Um, and this is the standard weapon uh which we are nowhere close to being able to afford but it would be nice to have a weapon with all those slots in it let's see what do you have now i kind of let what they have determine you know how i'm going to make money so if this guy has for example an s-class scanner upgrade uh then i might consider buying that and uh, making money that way because those can give you a lot of money just by scanning stuff let's see go back here Grab some more nanites, and there is, uh, of course, the back room bush. Grab the nanites. Grab the bush. And check to see what they sell. So, uh, they will sell different items. Uh, most of them will be the same, but there will be a few differences. Uh, like the dioxide, I don't remember before. Nothing special. Check the table. You guys got anything? Yes. Thank you, sir. Did I grab that one? Nope. All right, and that's about all we need to do in here. Now, I recommend the first time you come to the station, especially if you're new in the game, that you go around and talk to all the other aliens that you didn't freak out by asking about the uh, quest line just a few minutes ago. Because as you do, uh, they will teach you words and you will get a chance to repeat those words to them. And you can get, uh, get some free goodies. So we're gonna request dialect help and every alien will teach you a word of their language. So you get to ask. So Vikings tend to uh, like uh, war. They're the warrior race. The Gek are traders. And the Corvax, which we haven't seen yet, are the um, scientists. So I try to talk to them about the things that they're the most interested in. I'm not seeing, um, I'm not seeing anything about war right here. So I'm just gonna go with technology. And he taught me weapons. So that's, that's pretty good. So then we'll go back in and we'll talk to him again. And once you've learned a few words, you can talk to them multiple times. And I got weapon and interloping. Let's say weapon. He looks nervous. They don't seem confident in their knowledge of the subject. Uh-oh. Okay, so that didn't that didn't do anything good. Let's see if we can talk to this guy again. Mm -hmm. And we'll say interloper. I seem to have impressed them. Okay. So since I've impressed them, my standing has now increased with the Viking. The Vikings are kind of cheap. They don't really give out a whole lot. Uh, I already talked to you, right? You're, you don't want to talk to me. Oh, wait. You will talk to me. Okay, sweet. And they're going to give me a few units. So spend some time, go around, talk to everybody. I'm going to do that, and uh, I'll cut to uh, when we head back to the base. Unless we get something cool. Ooh, they present a new multi-tool offered in exchange for mine. Okay, so they are offering me a B-class multi-tool. 
uh, but I have to give him my multi-tool. So this multi-tool does have an advanced, uh, well, it's got a B-class upgrade for the mining beam, it looks like. It's got one, two, three, four slots. I can fix these slots. It will cost me something. Let's go ahead and compare. Uh, I mean, I don't see why I would not take this, right? I can take it for free or I can exchange it. Okay, so we can buy and add it to the collection. I thought he said it. It said in the text that he wanted to exchange it, so I can just go ahead and take it for free. Sweet. So now I got a free multi-tool. Let's go over here. It automatically selects that one. Uh, if you want to change your multi-tool, you come down here to this menu in the utilities, and then you can swap multi-tools here. Uh, now, if you are on PC, you can hotkey this to switch them back and forth. So that's kind of neat. So this tells you what you need to fix. Wiring loom, ionized cobalt. I mean, it's pretty expensive to fix these things. You're usually better off just uh, trading it for something else. Uh, but some of these I can fix. Uh, but I'm not going to fix them until I absolutely have to. Okay, so uh, what I don't see is a terrain manipulator. So we definitely need to stick one of those in there real quick. All right, there we go. Personal deflector. I mean, and I don't really need that. I'm just going to take that out of there. And you get, I got one wiring loom for doing that. So I can use that. There we go. So actually, I got two more spaces opened up because I did it that way. Nice. Okay, this guy just punched me. I didn't see my shields went down. Did not much appreciate me saying death to him. Uh, about interloper. Nah, they like that one. And now they're happy. Okay. Oh, nice. I got that advanced mining laser. All right. Oh, we got some nice fighters coming in here. I think in the last episode I said Viking systems have more freighters. I meant fighters. Uh, yeah. Fighters. These things. I've learned eight words. I know I've learned more than that. Hello. Viking rank. Met ten aliens. All kinds of stuff. All of these are uh, milestones. Milestones are good to get because they will give you more. Na you get nanites for milestones in the um, anomaly when we get there. Visited. Okay, so all these guys say visited, so I am good to go. Um, yeah, we got a new multi tool. We got an upgrade. Let's see if we can go ahead and install that. Uh, that's going to take two wiring looms. Uh, that's kind of pricey. I don't have the money for that. A hermetic seal and carbon nanotubes. So, let's see if we can make a few bucks real quick. How about that? I would like a um, map. Let's get emergency and give me two. Feeling, feeling good. Let's see what we can do. These uh, emergency data will sometimes give you a crashed ship. We got a distress signal. Nice. All right, so let's go see if we can find a crash ship. Crash ship is something that we can claim if there's no pilot there, and then we can scrap it, and then we can sell that scrap and make some cash. Oh, this planet also has ancient bones. This is our starter planet, and I didn't notice it, uh, but ancient bones is a great way to make money too. You can dig those up, you find them with your visor, and they're gonna be worth uh, a minimum of like 80,000, but they can go up to a million units each if you find a rare one. Now, as you're coming to the distress signal, make sure you don't go in super fast. You want to give it time to load in. And I don't like to look directly at it. Like, I don't want to make it nervous or something. You see how this uh, vegetation was just loading in? All right. So, hopefully, the ship has loaded in or will load in. And it has. Now, I'm looking to see if there is a dude walking around. There is. You suck. Uh, you suck. Okay, so we don't get that. But you can land and talk to him and you can give him stuff and, and, and fix his ship. And he'll be happy and stuff. Um, or you can take matters into your own hands. Ooh, with the force fields now, this is a lot harder. Yeah, man, his shields are charging up quick. Ha 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 ha. 
Oh, I did get... I got some... Uh, I got an upgrade there. The hell did I get an upgrade? I got a launch thrusters upgrade from blowing up that ship? That is awesome. Hey, buddy, what seems to be the problem? Hello? How's it going? Are you mad? Death? Hmm. And they seem both ragged and exhausted and furious. Um, what what happened to your ship, buddy? I uh, does not want to talk about it. Okay, well, good luck. Bye bye. All right. That's not the official gameplay mechanic that they're looking for in No Man's Sky. So, uh, that's just how Bob does, because he wants a free ship. And they did not give me the free ship. All right, so, now that we've covered our tracks, Outlaw Bob, what would you expect from Outlaw Bob, right? Destroy the ship, bury the body, steal the things, and go on our merry way. Grab that. Might as well have a look around, see if we see any bones. Bones are going to be this yellow chevron like that. These guys are scary. I have been killed by them multiple times. Do not, I repeat, do not call them muffin top crabs. Uh, every time I do, I tend to die. Alright, so that's 700 away. Okay. What was that noise? Alright, let's go grab those bones. Oh no, that's what that was. That was a frigate. That is awesome. Oh nice, there's more than one. Alright, this is where Big Ball is going to come in handy. We got one. We got two. Both ancient. Uh, nothing special. Okay. Look around, see if we can find some more. So I'm going to run around and grab some bones. I may cut some of this out and bring you back once I've uh, collected a few, okay? Oh, nice. Four over here. There we go. A rare one. That's going to be worth some money. Another rare one. Awesome. All right, let's take a look here. We've got three rare ones worth about between two and six. Okay, so we got probably about two million bucks there, maybe? Life support, Bob. All right, let's see if we can find a crash ship for real this time. Uh, observatory. All right, let's land in the free parking. Grab this technology. Uh, we got three that time. So you got a chance between two and four whenever you dig one of those up. All right, grab some more nanites. Grab some more nav data. If you just kind of grab everything as you go, you're, you kind of have a decent amount of stuff. All right, let's learn a word. You. A beacon sent long ago from a distant system awaits my response. Three numbers are visible above the empty input box. I think I know what comes next. Okay, so it's just moving the first digit to the end. That's all it's doing. So this would be 2170. And it is going to give me a location, hopefully, for a crash ship. Without a pilot this time. What am I seeing over there? Oh, that's a... Uh uh, what the heck are those things called? Colossal Archive. And it gave me a ancient ruin, which kind of meh. Actually, let's look around at it and look around. Natural burial site right there. 165 units away and another one 400 units away. Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and throw this stuff over there 
There we go. Got room for uh, several more. And how is... We got room in the cargo, guys. What are you doing? We'll, we'll uh, have some slimy cargo. We'll just throw all that in there. Okay. Let's go grab some more bones. Whoa! Ice worm! Whoa! That is awesome. Glad you missed my ship. This is buddy. As the sun rose, we jogged over to the Colossal Archive. Look at that thing. That was huge. We get up there. Not the best places to ship hunt just because of the way the pads are. It looks really cool, but it's hard to kind of see everything at once. That one's 400k. We could buy that right now. It's not bad looking. A little explorer. Kind of dig it, actually. Surely not an explorer guy. Interloper is pathetic. What? <laughs> see, this is the problem with learning the words. Death, death. Okay. All right. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Dick. Alright, so let's go ahead and sell these bones. We got a decent price, so we'll go. And what am I at? 1.5 million, and uh, that's not the bones that I left in my ship either. Let's go call our ship over here, and we can do that uh, by hitting down on D-pad or uh, X and then going over to the Summon Vehicles tab. You can summon your vehicle uh, onto the ground, or you can use navigational data to summon to a landing pad. And bam, there we go. Now that it's on the landing pad, I should be able to sell directly the stuff out of it. Ooh, look at that. 76 million. Now, haulers are supposed to be legit now because they will hold even more cargo. So we may have to add a hauler to our uh, outlaw arsenal. Interloper I, Viking. Okay, well, at least that's less rude than you were last time. All right, so let's go ahead and sell. Let's ship, switch to the ship. And ancient bones. That's it. All right, so where are we at now? 2.7 million. Feeling good. Feeling real good. Uh, hadn't even left the system yet. All right. Um, we're just going to kind of wait on a ship and, and wait till we find something that strikes our fancy. Nice. Okay. We'll sell these and then we will head back to our base computer. Actually, um, I can sell these at my base computer, right? So cool. I dig the color changes on this planet. All right, let's sell here. Almost four million space bucks. That's what's up. Okay. Let's uh, get a few more nanites before we hit. Oh, we got to talk to the base computer. That's what it's yelling at me. Talk to the base computer, Bob. You got it. Let's see. Begin decryption. Fly to us. Okay. Signal acquired. Life signs detected. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I almost forgot. Possible distress signal. Okay. All right, so you can refine the residual goop into viscous fluids. The viscous fluids will then refine into living slime, and the living slime will then refine into runaway mold. Now, I do this maybe the first go around with this, and a lot of people will continue to do it throughout the game, but it does take a few minutes to do, uh, and I'm usually kind of impatient, and you're not gonna get a ton of nanites. You can refine this runaway mold into nanites. I believe it's a five 
mold will give you one nanite. So this is 50 moldos, 10 nanites. So it's, I mean, it's it's a couple minutes work for just a few nanites. If it's something that can go on in the background while you're doing other stuff, great. But, uh, you know, don't go out of your way to do it, is basically what I'm saying. All right, another quick tip for new players. Uh, dihydrogen jelly, or dihydrogen, can be used to make dihydrogen jelly in your crafting menu. It takes 40 dihydrogen jelly to craft it, so I can craft three of these. Now, I can then take those and put them in the refiner and refine them, and I will get 50 apiece. So I turn 120 into 150, so I'm basically getting a 20% return, and I can keep doing that and getting more and more. So you kind of have an infinite supply once you have at least uh, 40, or yeah, once you have at least 40 so that you can make another one. Nope, 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 nope. That, that's wrong. Don't refine the hydrogen into jelly. That takes forever. There we go. That takes no time at all. All right. Made a little bit of extra dihydrogen and uh, got that stacked up. I've got a few more nanites. I'm up to 512. I'm going to sell that C-Class upgrade I got to... Uh, actually, I, can I sell it to this guy? I don't think I can... No, I can't sell it to that guy. What am I thinking? He sells blueprints, not technology. All right, so let's go to this marker and uh, keep it moving. Now, there has been a problem with these being loaded in the ground. And if that's the case, I'm going to have to start this playthrough over again. And it's really going to piss me off. Looks like we're good. All right, log damaged. Signal has led me to a wrecked freighter, and in this wrecked freighter, we are going to get a hyperdrive. Short message. The anomaly comes for the stars. Take flight. Schematic for a hyperdrive is attached. Excellent. All right, now we've got a hyperdrive, which takes chromatic metal and five microprocessors. Hmm. It's almost as if I knew. Okay. So, let's put that there. Now we have a hyperdrive. And it is not fueled, though. Now, in these, um, what is that? Salvage container. Oh, okay, this has salvage scrap on it. I didn't even pay attention to that. All right, so uh, there are cargo pods in these freighters that you can open and get some goodies. Some of it's good, some of it's kind of meh. And it will charge you a resource. Basically, you have to put a resource in the lock to f open it. And this one is going to be carbon, which is cheap, so we might as well do it. Sometimes it's like chromatic metal or something that I really don't want to give up. So, you do need to move fast once you do it because um, there is a radiation leak when you open it. And, uh, ooh, a salvage frigate module. Nice. Now, I noticed this during the expedition that I got a salvage frig frigate module in uh, a crashed freighter, and I think that's pretty cool that they do that. I don't think they used to do that. That might have been something that changed with the last update. Let me know, guys. Have y'all found them in here before? I, I really don't remember finding them until uh, a few days ago. All right, hyperdrive fuel empty, and we need antimatter so we're going to tune our scanner to antimatter which is not something you can actually manually do it's just part of the quest line um i think we have to be in space though all right antimatter trace detected so now let's go grab the antimatter and we'll go for a warp now, the antimatter is going to be at an abandoned building. An abandoned building is a place that is going to have eggs that you can uh, you can grab. Now, the problem with grabbing these eggs is Mama does not like it. And uh, a swarm of little monsters are going to try to come eat you, spit acid on you, and generally kill you. In normal mode, it's not that big of a deal as long as you don't take too much damage and just kind of maybe one hit or so. Permadeath, they'll one-shot you, okay? So uh, take precautions. There's multiple ways to gather these eggs safely, um, but I'm probably just going to grab a few and, and run. Hit my scanner to see if a building will pop. Got one right here. And uh, that looks like what we're looking for. 
I don't remember that big honking square part on it. Is that new? Have y'all seen that? I do not remember this much design on these. And I don't remember the square piece either. All right, so these are the eggs I was telling you about. Uh, it is super flat here. Let's go in and get the antimatter. Look out for something that wants to grab you like that. Uh-huh, you thought you were going to get me. But you didn't. Terminal online decrypting success. The terminal is clogged with an unnerving, pulsating slime. Nevertheless, it appears to function. As I touch the input panel, the alien substance reacts violently. I make a note to avoid getting closer. The device opens, revealing a single, unblinking crimson eye. It prints out a blueprint for antimatter accompanied by a strange message. Take the blueprint. Read the log. You will find us when the time is right. I don't know why they're in all caps. Just yelling at me. 16, 16, 16, 16, 16. All right, now we have antimatter. New product formula learned. Awesome. First aid. Bob's a drifter. I'm a joker. I'm a smoker. I'm a midnight toker. I am recording this on 420, by the way. So, you do you guys. You do you. Okay. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to move my ship right over here. I'm going to throw a few things in it. All right. This used to work. Probably won't anymore. You shoot them on one side and then jump to the other side. They are uh, running a lot farther now than they used to. But you get a little bit of a break while they try to figure it out. Oh god, they're here. Hey, buddy. Ah! Go away. What's up? Nothing to see here. Just keep moving. That guy's stuck in the building. Oh god! You guys suck. That doesn't hurt at all, dude. It, like, tickles a little bit. Did they nerf these guys? Alright. Hit me with your best shot. I'm gonna hold still. That, no? I was kind of... I was... Ah, okay. Well, I mean, that's moving me a little bit. Yeah, that was... That was I mean, six or eight of those will take my shields down in normal mode. So. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, that that one hurt a little bit. That one hurt a little bit. Let's get out of here. I think I got them all though. Yep, looks like I did. Yeah, I did. That's awesome. Okay. Uh 5 10 15 24. That's what's up. Let's make some antimatter. And then let's make a warp cell and get on out of here. Oh, I need a uh, launch fuel, which I have. Deuces. I'm going to run back to my house real quick and refine these into nanites. I went ahead and installed this extra oxygen recycler. It just gives you 10% more. It costs 60 oxygen. It's not that big a deal. But I had it, so I might as well. And by putting them side by side, you see that blue bar that goes around them. You get a little bit of a boost as well. So just have to recharge my life support a little bit less. I could have done that on the first day. I just didn't think about it. Look at that. Remember what happens if you shoot it? Nothing. Okay. Why is there a com ball here? Did people find me already? I showed my glyphs, didn't I? I showed my glyphs. It's only been a few hours. 
Electromagnetic generator C class. Somebody came and found me at the electromagnetic spot. Uh, you guys are crazy. Now you can sell these. They're worth about 50 or 69 K hand a piece. So this would be worth a couple million bucks, but I'd rather have the nanites right now. So let's uh, refine them instead. Two hundred fifty nanites, fifty nanites a piece. There we go, twelve hundred nanites. Awesome. All right, let's jump in and out of our ship, create a save, and then warp like they want us to. Let's go. So to warp, as it says on the bottom of the screen, we're gonna hit X to go to our galaxy map. And uh, you can go pretty much wherever you want, right? It's uh, You can choose Galactic Core, Free Explore. Um, I'm going to uh, kind of do free and just look around at the other systems and see if anything strikes my fancy. I'm not a fan of the Gex. You know what, though? But haulers are good, so maybe we should go to a Gex system. <sighs> okay, fine. I hate a Gex. They're beady little eyes. Hubcap wearing, saggy pants having. It's a cool looking system. First contact, six planets. Uh, conflict level boisterous. Seems legit. All right, Starship Modern reports hyperdrive error. Searching for fuel source. Searching, searching. Obtained. Warp fuel source in 16, 16. Rut row. Accept guidance? Sure. Plotting route. All right. All right, now this fuel source is generally at a monument or a monolith, I think is what they're called, which looks something like this. So that's what you're looking for. Obviously there's gonna be different types, but it's gonna basically be a big thing sticking out of the ground. And uh, you can learn some words at the bottom too. So might as well do that. Maybe, yep. Get some Gek. Digging on the grass here. Friend. Oh, is this a, um... It's a glitch planet. Perfect, okay, so glitch planets are cool because they only have one life form on them. So if you can scan that life form, then you have found 100% of the species. See the check mark at the bottom? So if you go into the Discoveries tab, Fauna, click on that, and we can hold and register completion for a 250 nanite bonus. Giggity. Nice, okay. Now they also have uh, decorations as well, so I'm looking for a little question mark. I don't see any. Oh well. All right. Let's see what we got here. The structure is unlike anything I've encountered on my journey so far. Everything about it is so obviously alien, so obviously out of place. As I stare at it, words form themselves in my mind, a strange fragment of broken speech. Is it Traveler? Is it Friend? Uh, it's Traveler. I don't know you that well. It feels strange responding to questions I am unsure that I am being asked. But something has clearly taken notice of my reply. I am overwhelmed by a sense that something has awoken, that someone is watching me. I hope, I hope people are watching me. It forms another question. Is it first? Is it last? Well, if you're not first, you're last, so I'll be first. I don't know how I am being spoken to. This monolith is ancient, and I cannot escape the feeling it has asked these questions many times over. You know what, buddy? I think you're right. It has. It asks again. Have you seen the Crimson Eye? Has the Crimson Eye seen them? Uh, yes. Likelihood of anomaly exceeds safety parameters. Breach detected. Alert, alert, the boundaries fall, the walls collapse, your universe awaits. Find us, traveler. All right, so we go from anomaly to traveler. I was really hoping to find, uh, you can find these glitches that look kind of like these calcus rooms here, that's what they're called. Um, and uh, you can put them up as decorations around your base. Pretty cool. But uh, I'm not seeing any near here. So, 
we did the thing, right? All right, so now we need to explore, and you can explore planets or go to a new system, and it will trigger the next quest. Um, I'm going to grab a suit slot in the anom in the uh, space station, I should say, and then we'll uh, we'll warp back and trigger the anomaly section. Basically, they just want you to do a little bit of exploring. All right. Purchase upgrade modules. You have you have a scanner module and a bolt caster module. Um, okay, I'll take the scanner module. Um, mm, I'll take that. So, scanner module. Let's go ahead and put that here. So this is going to give me a plus six thousand percent money on fauna and almost 8,000 on flora. That's pretty sweet. And give me a 34% scan radius increase. I dig it. Now, I'm, let's go ahead and build a bolt caster. I don't have enough chromatic metal. Interesting. Oh well. On the lookout for one of those solar ships too. Now the Gex systems do not have the free nanites like the Viking systems. Uh, and uh, they're full of Gex. But they do have backroom bush. Isn't that right, Scout? Excuse me, sir. All right, let's see. What are you guys selling here? Um, wow, that is an expensive price for wiring looms. I don't know that I have anything that I need to sell, do I? Sell that, but I don't need to. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that. All right, so let's head back to our base. And uh, we should be able to get a uh, blueprint now. Using the teleporter, you can warp map without having to use warp fuel. Raining lush. Daniel, I told you this was my system, and you're creeping on me, bro. <laughs> uh, you uploaded it and named it. Now I can't name it. What's up with that? All right. Um, let's go ahead and search construction database. Download plans for a storage container. Yes. Okay, so we need magnetized ferrite. And then we can build one. You want to build the thing it gives you immediately because every 90 minutes IRL, it's going to give you another piece of technology uh, if you haven't learned it already. It has a set pattern it goes through. So if you do learn something that it was going to give you, it's just going to give you an upgrade. And now we can build a storage container. And we'll stick it right here. See if it stuck it. If I stuck it through the wall by accident, I did not. Okay, so that is in there. Now we can power this, and it's intended to be powered, right? See, it says insufficient power, but uh, we can still access it without powering it. Okay, so if we come here and we hit X to transfer items, and you can see you can transfer from your ship or from the storage container. Okay, so uh, let's say I want to take this. Uh, Let's see, what do I have? Okay, so and this is what I was trying to show you. So we can grab our silica powder out of our ship. Um, and if we do the, the quick transfer, it's gonna give us an option to put stuff in the storage container. So we can do that. And now uh, as we come to the storage container, even though we can't open it because it doesn't have power, we can go to quick transfer on a blank spot, select it and see what's in it to grab that stuff out. So. Uh, yeah, Bob doesn't pay his power bill, but I got ways around it. All right, now that we have done that, we should be able to uh, trigger the Artemis quest. Let's find out. All right, yep, here we come. Incoming message. <clears throat> Incoming mission unknown. You are not alone. Please identify yourself. Didn't we do this already? I feel like I've done this already. You left me. Why did you? Or I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you'd say that. Of course you'd. Just like the others. Um, who are you talking to? There's no reply. The communicator falls silent, though the channel remains open. Okay. 
and we have coordinates. That's what we're looking for. Now this will be something that we can scrap if we so choose. Stranger's coordinates. And this is a spoiler if you don't want to know uh, you're fitting to. Okay, that's not what we want. Uh, we're looking for a crash, but not a freighter. All right, so it's this way, 400 yards. Is it really? All right, do I have launch fuel in this thing? Don't leave your ship without launch fuel uh, if you're lazy and you don't want to walk back. Which I am. We're here, and uh, we got a ship. So let's go to the beacon and fix it. All I extract is a pilot's name, Artemis. Whoever they were, they are long gone. But we got to upgrade for our biting beam, uh, which I already had that, so now it's giving me something different, which is a pulse spitter weapon. So that's cool. But you would normally get an upgrade to your mining beam there, but I already got it from a dude in the uh, space station. The Forge of Death. How'd that work out for you, bro? You're on fire. All right, so uh, this is a crash ship, and we can go ahead and claim it. And now it will be ours. Now, the intent of the uh, of the storyline is for you to fix this ship and uh, then fly it and do whatever you want to with it. That's not how I roll, though. So we can leave it here, um, and you will still have access to it once you get to the anomaly or get on a... Um, go through a portal and start a save. So let's... Uh, Let's get to the anomaly, because that's next. All right, we are off. And we should get a phone call. There it is. Hello. Artemis Entity, we received your signal. Is it first? Is it last? Time for truth. Uh, you have their signal, but you are not Artemis Entity. Yeah, I am. You are not Artemis Entity. No need for deception. Your signal is familiar to Nada. Uh, okay. We have sought you too. This will be a good time to come aboard, I think. Okay, okay. Did the anomaly come in and I miss it? What the hell is that? Oh, it did. Damn, I didn't even see it come in. Oh man. The entrance of the anomaly for the first time is so epic. Wasn't even paying attention. Oh well. All right, we are at the anomaly now. Okay, I think that's where we're gonna end it for today at the anomaly. Next time what I'll do in the anomaly is I'll show you everything you need to get while you're here. We'll talk to this guy, we'll talk to that guy, we'll do the things in the anomaly, and then we will find an outlaw system guaranteed in the next episode because we are going to get an economy scanner right back there so guys thanks so much for watching remember if you're going to be a bob have fun with it uh if you made it all the way to the end make sure you hit that like button make sure you uh let me know in the comments down below what you think and uh, if you got any ideas for the outlaw series guys we will see you later and i uh, hope you're having a great time exploring travelers take care